All right. Cooking with cornbread. Got some ribs in here. Pull these dudes out. Got them at 160 degrees. Take them out. Double wrap them. Rub them down with brown sugar and butter. Put the show enough hurt on them. these dudes in the house, work on them a little more, close this back up so as to not lose all my heat, sitting at 200 degrees, well it's 25 degrees by opening that door. four long pieces of aluminum foil already out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take each slab turn it meat side down in order to get this dude where it is just falling off of the bone I'm gonna put some brown sugar on that dude. Light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, doesn't matter. Make sure that you plenty of it on there. Rub it in. A little bit more. chunk right there. It don't matter. More the merrier. Right. Standard old butter knife. There it goes. I've let this butter out for a little bit. Let it soften up. Set that aside and double wrap this stuff. We'll fold it on the end. Unplug my wires here for a minute. I need to wrap these dudes.
worn. Still see a lot of that rub on there, which is awesome. Really going to taste it with this. Back to the butter. Side. We'll clean that up in a minute. Same thing on these dudes. You want two wraps on these also. A little bit so I can get that thermometer out of there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Some dudes are a little hot. come right on through the side of that dude. You try and twist that a little. Make it act right. Then it's a stubborn. There we go. That one. Sounds like a hot mess and looks like a hot mess, but I guarantee you, you will enjoy the taste of this. All right, set these dudes right here. Bottom rack and top rack, here we go. Back out to the smoker for another couple of hours. Part of the thermometer. Yeah, the back came off. Come on, get on this side and make sure you can see where I'm putting them at in here. Didn't take that dude long, we're back up to 230. Give me that back here. Must have knocked that loose while toting it. Bottom rack. Close that dude to get my heat in. cooled off a little bit on my temperature, but that's all right. Get it fired back up when it's wrapped in that foil. Looks like I ain't going to act right. There he goes. 204 on the temp. I got it in there set for four hours, but it's not going to be in there for four hours. I'd rather overshoot it and have it not turn off than undershoot it and have it turn off and then you lose your temperature on your meat. So we'll check back in on this in a couple of hours, see where we're at. Hopefully ready to eat. All right. Got one of them ready anyway. 
my crew is becoming dis. They're getting angry. So. Oh. Hot. That one's a little hot. Uh, that you're in the way, Daddy. That one is not quite finished. It's only got an internal temp of 191. We're gonna close it back up till it reaches that magic 205. Hopefully, this dude will fall apart when we get it in here. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking. I didn't take it out of the foil. And I didn't rub barbecue sauce all over it. Yep, I wanted dry ribs this time. So let's get in here, see what we've got. suck on because it's burning that's a good thing though. oh my look at the juice off that dude there's that butter and that brown sugar Ooh, it's too slick I can't pull see if it'll tug off the bone What we're looking for. That's what I like. You do it like that. Those dudes are fine on a piece of bread. That rib sandwich. What you talking about? Slap your mama. Mm -mm -mm. Don't actually eat that though. No, I don't actually slap your mama. Let's see. Got a little tug on there. Nothing. Not a whole lot. All right, so we'll edit it. I'll show you the whole deal. We'll pull the other one off when it gets to that 205 range. It's got about 14 degrees to go. 